Hello again, YouTube. Once again, I am here with another unboxing. This one I have waited some time for, but um, possibly longer than I waited for the other one that I just finished filming, the Oracle that I just unboxed. You guys, if you have been here for some time, you all will remember the Everyday Witch Tarot mini deck that I got as a gift back during Corona that was so super duper tiny and I was so super excited about because it was so adorable. But over time, it has turned into a little bit of a difficulty to read with that. So when I bought the Oracle, I went ahead and bought the full size Everyday Witch Tarot deck. And I'm so glad I did. To begin with, you get a, one of those lovely um, magnet flat boxes with yellow trim. I love the magnet flaps. They're just so awesome. You don't have to worry about anything falling out, falling open. You really gotta pop that. It's exciting. <laughs> Next, we have the book. And when I say this is a book, it's a book. It smells like heaven. It's fully colored. All the information about the cards. There's a place for notes after at least several of these cards that I've seen. Um, so if it means something else for you, you can write it down. Or if something else comes to mind, you can write it down. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. Because there's been plenty of times I've wanted to write down and didn't have a way to. And then, of course, the back is full of the pictures of not just the deck, the box, all that. So... It would be near to impossible to mix up the decks. Should you say maybe unbox the deck like I like to do. And forget the name as happens to even the best of us. I hate opening these like this but I don't have nails at the moment. So I just need to get a hole big enough to pop a pen in and up. And as you can see, it's just ah, barely wanting to work with me. Uh, even though I know what the cards look like, I did wait for you guys because I'm super duper excited and wanted to share that with you. Sometimes that's the only bright side of my life and that's what I'm, I feel like you guys deserve me the most. You don't get enough of that. So now... This is a much older deck. I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking about it. Whoa. We're just going to jump right in. Of course, you know from the mini that the back is the um, blue with the stars, the black cat, the broom, and the hat. That's not changed. It's literally the same deck, only bigger. The full. Trying not to let the light blind you. The magician the High Priestess, the Empress, one of my favorite Empresses by the way, the Emperor. For those of you who may not be familiar with this deck and didn't see the Oracle, this is a very nice, thick, flexible but not super bendy cardstock. Hierophant. I like how it's more like a meditation class rather than the religion. We can still pick up the traditional meanings without having the religion shut down our throat. The lovers. Again, religion not shut down our throat with no angels there. Excuse me, miss. The chariot. Definitely modernized. <laughs> Strength. Another one of my favorite updates of the card is the strength. I love lions, especially everything um, to do with that tiny person or that woman subduing the lion. Just, I love that image. The hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man, 
dead. Temperance. And for anybody wondering, before I show the next card, the card size difference. Just, just to put that out there. I know somebody's going to be asking if I don't show it. The devil. The tower. I love how it looks like she destroyed it. The star. I love this. The moon. The sun. Judgment. I love how she's like her little kitty dancing along with her. This deck has cats all through it. The oracle has um, different animals, by the way. The world. Ace of Swords. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This thing doesn't stop falling. It's going to drive me nuts. Ten. Page. Knight. My favorite queen of swords. And king. Next, we have cups, starting with ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, page. Night, Queen, and King. Next, we have the Ace of Wands, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Page, Knight, Queen, which makes me think of Scarlet O'Hara from Gone with the Wind for some reason, and King, 
Now, finally, we're moving into pentacles. And again, ace. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. <clears throat> Page. Night. Queen. And King. All in all, I wouldn't say that you would have to own this in both sizes. That's definitely a personal choice. I am glad hey I am glad that I do just for the collector's um, benefit. I'm going to leave those out because I'll use them. But you don't have to. Um, definitely worth the money. I got mine for less than what the box says. The box says $29.99 and I definitely didn't pay that much. Link for it is right down in the description. While you're there, definitely check out the description box. There's so much info down there that most people wouldn't think to check for before they ask or might not even think to ask and want to know. Um, anything that you don't see there that you want to know, don't hesitate to leave a comment or pop into a live and ask. I'm always here and I will answer you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, please press that subscription button as well as the little bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever I'm live post etc and please hit the thumbs up on any video live etc of mine that you watch it does help me and it helps to counteract what the bullies do with their mass thumbs downing bs uh, until next time please stay safe stay healthy stay sober stay straight and narrow and i will see you all again well i'm live now so <laughs> very soon bye guys